A one, two, three, four. Hi guys! Today I'm going to show you how I make my foliar spray made out of worm compost tea and rainwater. So the first thing you're going to need is a nylon stocking, the bottom part, about six to eight inches. And then you're going to need worm castings, either the ones that you've created or the ones that you can buy from the store it doesn't really matter then you're gonna need the equipment that's gonna make the the bubbles in the um, worm castings you need the bubbles to keep the microbes alive so for that you're going to need an air pump air pumps are different than water pumps so make sure that you know the difference um, you can get this from your local aquarium or pet store to the pump, you're going to attach a bubbler with the use of an airline tubing. So all these three are just the equipment. I will have the links for you on the description, so check it out. I use a rainwater and fish water mixture. It doesn't matter what the ratio is, it's fine. But if you don't have either one, you can use regular water fill up your bucket and then let it sit for 24 hours to get rid of the chemicals and let it evaporate then we need sugar or molasses it doesn't matter the microbes don't discriminate but i use sugar because i uh that's what i have and since they don't discriminate it's okay to use and i use maybe a third of a cup or you can use more if you want it doesn't really matter and finally, just your average spray bottle from the dollar store. <laughs> That's what I use. Okay, so I cut a piece of the, the nylon, the, the foot part. This is about, oh, six inches. And then I'm just going to fill it up with the worm castings. So I'm going to use about a cup this beautiful wonderful casting put it inside here probably help if I had like a glass or something so I'm gonna put that casting in there and I don't know, that's a half a cup. Let's try for a whole cup. So after you use this, after you use the bubbler and you brewed your tea, you can use the, the castings and put it back in your, your garden. So I have my five gallon bucket here and I'm going to make some warm tea. And what I have here is an air pump. It is not a water pump. Uh, this is a different kind of pump. I thought my water pump would work, but it doesn't work. So I need an air pump. Um, they're not that much. Um, you can order this. I'll leave a link on the description or right on the video so that you guys can it's a real cheap one, $6.95 or something like that. So I'm going to attach a hose <clears throat> and plug it in first. Now. Attach the hose, it's a tubing, uh, a Magitarium airline tubing. And it goes in here. This is a long one. It's eight feet. That's too much, but that's okay. So then I have this air bubbler, and I'm going to attach the tubing 
to plug this in. Then I'm going to submerge it at the very bottom. It's pretty heavy. And just let that bubble up. This is rainwater and I added some fish fish water in there and then I put the casting in this uh, ho uh, panty hose and then I'm just going to attach it and make some tea Anyway, that's going to brew and I'm going to leave it there for about 24 hours or 48 hours even better. And then all the microbes are going to start to fill up the water. And then I can use that water as a foliar spray or also mix it in with um, some more rainwater to water my plants. But I don't need to water my plants because I just watered it. So foliar spray it is. So another ingredient is uh, sugar. The microbes don't, they don't pick, they're not picky as long as there's sugar to activate them and to feed them, they're fine. Uh, people, some people use molasses. Um, I prefer to use sugar. This has been bubbling for about 24 hours. Sometimes I wait 48 hours just to make sure. And then I have this little cup right here that I use to scoop up um, one of these cups into my into my spray spray bottle that has label. Um, I labeled it compost tea so I know that this is the one that I use to spray my plants. That's dead. <laughs> That's not one. I just spray it. Give it a good if it will um it will give it a coat a little oily coating to it so that and it so it's supposed to repel um the mealy bugs. Look at this pretty composition. So I'll do it with another one. And it's going to rain today, so I don't know if most of that's going to wash away. But it's okay because look, see how it just like just sits on top? Once it dries on it, it's supposed to deter mealy bugs, especially these crassulas right here. I think it's a crassula. Um, I have to check. Those are very attractive to mealy bugs, and also the aeonians. They're fine but right now, but it's because I've been spraying them. I'm just gonna give it a little spray right here. Everybody gets the spray. Just gonna smell some mealy bug right there. Everybody gets the spray. It's also kind of a pick me up too. What happened here? Meant 
to be.